Hello guys, welcome back. So today we will continue with exercises from chapter 10 of the book, the practical SQL book. So make sure to read the chapter first and follow along with the code because as always we're going to use the code from the book and the tables generated during the chapter to do the exercises. Okay, so let's get started right away. Uh, in the first exercise we're going to use some code from listing 10.2 which is the correlation coefficient or R value of the variables uh, percentage of bachelors and higher and median household income. Uh, we, we calculated that uh, in the book this correlation coefficient which was 0 0.68. Now we need to write a query using the same data set to show the correlation between uh, PCT masters higher and median household income. Is the R value higher or lower and what might explain the difference? Okay, so I already copied this uh, code from the book. We're going to use this one uh, as a jump start, uh, as a jump, uh, as a starting point. So let's first execute this one and you'll see that um, with SQL we can calculate the correlation coefficient using this function CORR which is very very easy to use we just give it two columns we want to find correlation in between and then uh, give it a name to the correlation and then we can print it right away so now we just need to calculate the correlation between median household income and not percentage of bachelor's degree but percentage of master's degree and higher so right here I am going to replace this column with percentage of masters and higher okay and let's run this and we see we have 0 0.568 so this one is smaller than the uh, correlation between percentage of bachelors and household income which means that the incremental change of getting a master's degree is lower than the one when getting a bachelor's degree but still there's some correlation okay so this first exercise was very easy you just need to use the correlation function and that's pretty easy to do in SQL so let's continue with the second one I'm going to comment this one out okay now we're going to use the FBI crime data and we need to find which cities with a population of 500,000 and or more have the highest rates of motor vehicle thefts uh, and which have the highest violent crime rates okay so again there was a similar example in the book about this one and I'm going to uh, use that code from the book and I'm going to write the query so I'm going to refer to that. So first, what we need to do, in, we need to write a query to select uh, CD. Wait, let me type this. So CD state population. And then we need first to get the motor uh, vehicle theft, which is the column motor vehicle theft. OK. And now, what we need, we need to calculate uh, the motor vehicle theft to the population to get the rate. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to do, I'm going to divide motor vehicle theft to the population. But since motor vehicle theft is an integer, I need to convert it to a numeric to get a decimal. So this is how we can do that in, in uh, PostgreSQL. I'm going to uh, cast this into a numeric and now uh, of course let's let's see what we get. I am going to name this to give it an alias so vehicle theft. Okay vehicle theft rate let's call it. Okay and where I want this from? I want this from the table from FBI crime data 2015. This was the table we created uh, during the chapter 
and we have a limitation here in the exercise. We need to get only cities where the population is 500,000 or more. So where population greater than or equal to 500,000. Okay. And we need to order by vehicle theft rate in a descending order. Okay, let's run this. Okay, great. So this is the vehicle uh, theft rate right here. Uh, since this is a very small number, to better read this data, let's uh, multiply it by 1000 so that we get uh, the vehicle theft rate but per 1000 people. Okay, so this, this is similar to what we did in the book. And to do that, I'm just going to multiply this by 1000. Okay, and I'm going to call this vehicle theft per 1000. It's a bet, it's, it describes the column better. So let's run it again. And now it's easier to read because we have 12 vehicle thefts per 1000 people in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Okay, so this is nice, but still it doesn't look that good. We need to round the data because I don't want to read uh, this large decimal. So to do that I'm going to use the round function. So round right here and I'm going to round it to two digits after the decimal point. So let's round again and now this is much nicer to read. So we know we have approximately 12.29 uh, vehicle thefts per 1,000 people in Milwaukee, which is the highest rate. Okay, I think that's it for the uh, motor vehicle theft. So let's do this for... Now we need to do this for violent crime rate. So violent crime column. I'm going to copy the... Let's call this... Uh, vehicle theft and now let's do the same but for crime rate a violent crime okay now I'm not going to get motor vehicle theft here but I'm going to grab the violent crime um, column and right here I'm going to replace it and let's call this violent crime per 1000 and this one I think this one should work let's first comment this query so I am getting the city state population and violent crime column and then I'm computing violent crime per population per 1000 and rounding it and then uh, filtering only cities where the population is larger than 500,000 and ordering it by violent crime per 1,000 in a descending order. Let's run this. Mm, we must see something here. Wait. Oh, okay. And there might have been an issue with PG admin. But right now we see this uh, violent crime per 1,000. We have 17.60, the largest in Detroit. So 17.6 uh, violent crimes per 1,000 people. Okay, so this is what the exercise asked for. That's it for the second one. Let's continue with the third. Now this is a bonus challenge. We need to uh, revisit the library's data. This is the table in chapter 8 and we need to rank library agencies based on the rate of visits per 1000 population. This is in the pop, popu.lsa uh, and limit the query to agencies serving 250,000 people or more. First let's, since we should have this table from chapter 8, let's first do a select star to see what we have here and inspect the table first. Okay. Um, there might be s an issue here with the table name. Ah, sorry, I forgot the from. Yep. Okay, so this is a pretty large table. 
we have the state abbreviation, the library name, um, and then here we should have, well, I am going to grab only the columns I need for this case. So let's say we just want, um, so I want the state abbreviation, of course, the library name, visits, and population. So, and let's see what we have if we type this. Okay, great. So we have visits and uh, population. Okay, now we need to rank library agencies based on the rate of visits per 1000 population. Okay, so let's first calculate visits per 1000 population. So we need to divide uh, visits by the population. So I am going to do here visits and I'm going to make this a numeric again just like before divide this by popu lsa and then since we want to find it per 1000 I'm going to multiply this by 1000 and let's rename this visits per 1000 okay Great. let's run this and here we have it visits per 1000 this is the number okay and now oh we want to limit the to the agencies which serve more than 250,000 people so I'm going to add a where clause here where popu LSA is larger than or equal to 250,000 let's remove this okay now we have it filtered okay um, so we calculated the visits per population um, and let's round it because again this number it's very hard to read I just want to see two digits after the decimal so I'm going to use the round function here round okay great now we need to do a ranking over here so we need to um, use the rank function so right here I'm going to say rank and then I'm going to use the over keyword so we're going to rank over the visits per population so we're going to rank over this number we, we calculate here okay so let's do this and we don't need to round it, round it in this case, we're just going to use this to rank, uh, yes, to rank everything here, so, and we need to use this to order by, sorry, so we're doing rank, and we're ranking the library agencies based on the rate of visits per 1000 population so this is the rate of visits per 1000 population we're ordering them by that and we are ranking them by that so this one should work let's add a comma here so we don't have an error okay great so here we have the ranking um, I th yes so we maybe we need to add a descending order here and here now we have uh, the correct ranking so we have first second third four libraries uh, depending based on the rate of visits per 1000 population okay so for that we use the the rank function which is uh, provide you to you in the in SQL okay I think uh, that's it for this exercise uh, thank you guys for watching uh, try to solve the exercises on your own first and then you I hope my videos help you understand better uh, thanks again don't forget to like share subscribe to support the channel and if you want the book to buy the book I'll put a link in the description I'll see you in the next one bye bye